everyone. Welcome to our live. So tonight, we already did a live this morning, but tonight we're gonna do Cleopatra. So that's what's going on tonight. Let me show you some info pictures. Okay, we got this. We got this. We got this, a whole bunch. I screenshot a whole bunch of Cleopatra. Um, let me see. I, I want to play with her with bright colors. I love this face. Mm. I'm, I'm not going to draw it at any go like this. I'm just going to draw I just going to bottle the eyes. I love really the eyes. Nose and the lips. And I'm going to put in for her this eyeshadow. So I love this eyeshadow, it's blue. It's kind of contact against her skin. I like that, so I'm gonna add that in, that blue eyeshadow. And I love this wing, beside, like beside her head. So I'm gonna do that golden wings from the both side, index and ring fingers. I'm gonna do that. Hi, Cardinals! Hi, loving 313s! Oh my God, Mr. Latu Show. Oh, Aicha, Aicha. Hi, hi, Abirio. Uh, Hello, welcome, welcome. Let me see. Give me just a second. Let me connect. All right, Botino. is at www.tinovo.shop. Hi, everyone. Hi. Um, I will put in Kyla information. So if you have any shopping or shipping question about the order, anything like that, or track your orders, my phone number is 417-772-4020. So that is Kyla's. She's the new best friend. Call her every 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now remember only text her. Don't call her because there are a lot of people. So like thousands of people. Okay. Bonjour. Hello, Nat. Hi, Nat. Okay, let's see. I have my messengers. Okay, let's see this. Okay, let's see. Save, save, save. Mm, I don't need this. Okay, now. Oh, have you ever played Mobile Legend? You have any kids that play Mobile Legend? Tell them to add me. I play Mobile Legend. I always lose. Tell them to add me. I always lose. I'm not good at it. But I play it like all the time. Okay. So. Hi. Hi, Dandelion. Hello. Hola, Cuba. Oxygen nails. Okay. So this face, I want it. Metal fingers right away. Flip flop, bare feet. It's okay. I'm just walk bare feet. Then. Okay, now I'm gonna choose tan nude because Cleopatra is from Egypt, so she obviously have beautiful tan golden skin. So I'm gonna start with tan nude. Seems to be appropriate nude for her. Hi, hi, Tia. Okay, put her over here so you can see her. Now, come back here with me. I thought it was tight. Who? Oh. I'm 
Tia, uh, Tia, pay that. I saw Tia, so I just called Tia. Okay, now you're gonna kill this for 60 seconds. This is gonna be her, her face. So I'm, I am gonna buffer this so I can draw on this. So I do want to. Mm, cut this. Um, normally when I buffer something, I would do two coats, but I'm just gonna do one coat because this is not the color of her entire skin. See, it's just a, a like a background. That she's gonna have shadows. She can. She look pretty. Look at her. <gasps> Ooh, the lip. Look like Kim Kardashian. Is that Kim Kardashian? Maybe Kim Kardashian stole this makeup. Okay, now I'm going to find a pencil. Remember, you can have any pencil you like. Mine are using graphite pencil, ebony graphite by Prisma Colors. However, remember, the pencil is not really the secret. A lot of people say, ooh, what kind of pencil you use? What kind of pencil you use? It's not a pencil. You have to buff first. You want to draw on the nail? You have to buff first. Okay, this is what I'm using Tammy Taylor's clean finish buffing file. That's it. She have one by that one. She have one with a hot center and one with soft center. I like hot center. The hot center is a pink one. The soft center is a white one. Tia, say hi, Dustin. <laughs> yeah, hi. hi, Tom. Hi, Tanya. Okay. All right, let's draw her now. Hi, guys, now. Okay. Sharpeners. I finally found my sharpener. Look. I finally found it. I know. You might be like, what are you talking about, Tina? Why didn't you go out in the store and buy one? It's complicated. Just know that happened with my sharpener. Now I do. Okay. All right. All set. Let's draw hers. Okay, so let me see, let me see. Okay, obviously it doesn't have this. Oh, I do, I do have it. Okay. So you want this grid, this is what you want, okay? This is what you want to download, or just whatever that make grid. Okay, so. Pop her in. I want to make sure her face in the middle. So this, this square, when I do this, I look at the middle square because I want to make sure her face is right in the middle because that's all I care about is the face. Go over here, grid. And right there. Now remember, you have the second mode. This is only two row. Only two a row, two a column, and black color. You have to set it. Okay, save. And I think I'm just gonna snapshot this guy. I don't know how to save this. Okay. 
All right, we're good. Now, let's draw her. So, let's see, first square. And this is her nose. So where would I want her nose to be? Let's see her entire face. Okay, I want her face to be somewhere right here. I need room up top for like a crown or something. So I want this much room. Let's draw it all the way down here. Okay. Okay, so the center of her face somewhere right here. Yes, artistic now I am going to draw Cleopatra. Okay, let's see. The eyes. Mm, let's see the distance. A mm, little bit off, a little bit off. Let's see the whole space of the nose equal to from here to here, from here to here. Okay. Don't be distracted by the shading. It seems smaller than the eye, but really it is the eye. It is the same length from, from this dot to this dot to this dot. It's the same length. Don't be distracted by all the makeup. So, um, okay. Then this and again the nose from here to here equal to from here to here. Okay. Good. Yeah. Okay. Space in for the eye. Okay. Now, I'm going to leave it over here because you already done seeing her and I'm going to draw her. The eye, one shape, just a simple shape for the eye that we all know they're going to be makeup and mascara on it before it's over with. Oh, that's much easier. That's better. Nose. Eyebrow first. This distance for the eyebrow straight. Ooh, okay. Cleopatra. She's so pretty. A hairdresser one told me the eyebrow, the more arch it is, the more it's desirable. Like going up. Okay, nose. I swear I look like Kim Kardashian, you guys. A V. Nose. Oh, I'm sure she have a no job for sure. Look at this nose right here. It's got to be fixed. It's got to be fixed. You say it's a regular pencil. Uh, it's a graphite pencil, so the color is different. You can use regular, or you can use, um, I want to use a mechanical pencil. So that to me is ideal because it's so small, I don't have to sharpen it. Go buy a mechanical pencil. Okay, let's see this thing. This, this thing right here equal to the eye. The eye is this much, so this thing is down here. 
background a little slit for her lips. And down. Okay, from from the eyes down. Okay. Now break it down, slant it. Land it down too. Okay. Now down here you want to do a slight curve be just below the V with a slight curve. And then that curve come all the way here. So V is a like a curve up. So now on each side you curve down to the lip and then stop to the upper lip. And then now you go and up again. So and up again. Okay. From here. Big bottom lip, big DSL lip. Now, from here, you curve lightly in a bow shape, curving up. Just like this. Okay. Ooh, that's big lips. Mm, little smaller. About right here. Okay, now, Jim. Hola, hola, buenas tardes. What kind of pencil are you, uh, you using? I'm using um, the pencil, um, graphite pencil, ebony graphite by Prisma Colors. I'm sure you know Prisma brand, the most reputable brand. It's Prisma for their pen, and I love their Sharpie. Sharpie. Okay, it's the chin. The chin equal to... Uh, is it equal to the lip? It's a little bigger than the lip. Okay. From the mouth, start right here. I'm gonna do a, a curve, like uh, um, make the end look like um, like a oval nails. Like that, like a tip of an oval nails. Okay, and then come all the way here. But this part is shaded though. Okay, straight hair. This poem, this is the most difficult um, part for most people that just step into portrait because at this point you should not compare to the face that you're trying because remember, you don't have makeup on yet. And remember what we all look like before makeup. Don't forget that. Okay, now, draw on her neck. So this is a crown for her, so her hair is like this. Hi, hi, Arlette. Hello. Okay, some kind of necklace down here. We're not gonna go into too much into it. I wanna make sure that her hair is found right here. Let me see other photos. I wanna see what the neckline look like. Oh, okay. So down here going to be all bedazzlement. Okay. 
my color scheme should be blue and red and gold. It's primary colors. All right, now these two are also nude. Tan nude. Thank you, thank you, uh, Pigment by Pepper. Hello, Angelic Vampires. Hi, Lionel. Yeah, it's a graphite pencil by Prisma Colors. No. Not nude. Black. Okay. Now I'm gonna get in black. Hi, Kikaro. Oh, Kurakao. Hello, Kinky from Kurakao. And now I'm gonna do a white ombre. So, actually, I don't need the whole nail to be black. Now I'm gonna use an ombre brush. Where can I get the pencil? And the name of the app that I download, uh, download the pencil is on uh, Amazon. Um, or you can just go to a store. It's because, remember, it's not because of the pencil, it's because of the surface. Uh, on Amazon, type in Ebony Graphite by Prisma. As long as you type in Ebony Graphite pencil, it'll pop up for you. Um, and the uh, app that I download is called Grid. So G-R-I-D and the hashtag. It's green and white. Kill these two. Now Cleopatra, let's remove some of the grit on her face. And I will use a filler brush for this. Okay, now I'm going to use some alcohol. It's just pencil. Erase all the grid for her. Jolene, Jolene say I'm a genius. Ooh. Hi, no addition. One, two, three. Qua aplica, uh, aplicación estás uh, usando para dividir la imagen en uh, uh, cuatro partes. Uh, es el grid, el grid, uh, mira, mira mi amor. Ooh, my Spanish is fire tonight. Mira mi amor, es el aplicación uh, applications de la grid. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 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 mira. Mira. La grid. Okay. All right. Oh, my Spanish is amazing tonight. Oh, I can feel it. It's coming back to me. I can feel it. All right. So now when we're done with her, let's erase this necklace because that's easy. We don't need to sketch that. All right. Now, after done with hers, um, let's go ahead and put in color for her. 
before we do that, I'm, I am going to do an ombre pigment base shadows. Over here, pigment base right here, shadows above here, and you need a uh, ombre sponge. Thank you, Ivana. Making that uh, to Espanol. Oh, gracias, Hikaru. Gracias. Take this. Okay, now. I have black and white. I'm gonna add more white just because black is a very strong colors. So I have to have more white to balance it out. All right. Now, come over here. Pigment base. All the way up here. Going down one more time. Make sure everything's smooth. And go ahead and use a sponge. Hi, Gentilini. Hi, Jen. Jen, say hi, Dustin. Get this. Dustin, say hi. Dustin, say sending love. Can you show the app again? Okay. There's an app, grid. So just grid with a hashtag. See the hashtag behind it? That's great. Okay, now. You caught me, Becky's. Just the right time. Oh, you tried to catch me for a while, aren't you? Get this. All right, now I need a flash key light. Flash key light. So that it's very light because if not and make sure you flash cure often in between because it's very easy to ombre on top of dry layer it just it's very messy to play with wet polish like play with it around is it doesn't show much progress so make sure you keep it plenty of flash cure in between to deliver um, optimum result Okay, let's see. Okay, here. Do the other one. <gasps> Gentle Lini now is short now. Can't allow that to happen, Gentle Lini. You can't. You have to fight it. Can't give into the shortness. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't matter with long now or short now, it's all the same. People function the same. You just have to be aware of the length. You have to be aware of the nails. Gosh. You got no fun. You guys sound like some of my clients. <laughs> my boyfriend being a dick and wouldn't let me watch you in bed. 
Lady B. Oh my God, Lady B. I don't know what to say. Tell him, tell him what show did he want to watch. I would deliver that show. What show did he want to watch? He want to be. He want me to be more exotic. Here it is. Oh, he must want me to sound like one of those sport narrators. That way it is. I have to deepen my voice to sound like them. Oh, God, that was so deep. Okay, hear this? He gotta go. <laughs> I'm loving 313, so he gotta go. Uh... Oh my God, I, I am so flattered that you watch me in bed instead of, you know, hanging out with your husband. That made me feel special. It's made me, it's made me blush. Yeah. But you couldn't see it because I have Asian skin. You couldn't see the blush. You just have to trust me. I'm blushing. Okay, now, Pikmin Bay is on. So, um, technically, I can put pigment on. Do I want to put pigment on this rock background? Probably no. Okay? You can apply pigment on right now because it's pigment based. However, do I really want to put pigment on this rough background? Probably not a good idea. Probably it will save me more time if I put a little matte and make it all everything smooth and flawless. That probably would be a good idea. All overs, apply matte all over and make sure that it's cell level and smooth before you put it in. Don't apply too thin meters, but not too thick. You know, just moderate layer. See the light? Just check the light. See, it's smooth already. It's smooth out by itself already. So if you if you use this. This matte and if it doesn't smooth, then you have to check if her uh, don't apply to thin like this. Cause then it's way too thin. It don't have room for it to be a cell level. I don't think anyone ever bumped into that problem though. I do remember one person a long time ago, they bumped into that problem using matte, but it's not a cell level. I don't know why. Look at that. So smooth already. Doesn't take much time. Now, I am going to cure this for eight seconds. If you are first purchase, purchasing the mat, then make sure you test out your timing because lamb is different. Everybody lamb have different vote. Um, hi, hi, Missy Flame. Okay, cure this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Probably more than eight seconds. How do I clean my ombre sponge? So, if you want to clean this, then you have gel on here. You just have to dab it out until until it doesn't show anymore, see? Now it's, it's lighter. So that's one way to do it. Until, but the stain's still gonna be there, but the color will be gone. Um, I usually just toss my sponge. It's really cheap, so I just toss it. Or another thing you can do is, let's say it's black and white, right? You just find a box. You, you can do this too, but you find a box, you put it in there. Next time you use black and white, you find this one. So that's another way that you can do it. All right, now I'm ready for pigment. So, I am going to have paper towels right here and another paper towel folded for cleaning.
Okay, now I am gonna have some pigment right here. Okay. This box came in. I am gonna get a pigment brush. Clean this. Hi, Julia. Okay, now, first up is purple, and then pink, and then orange. This color orange, bright tangerine for the color of the desert. Okay, so I am gonna put this on. So I'm gonna use purple first. Smudge it out right here. Okay, now tap it. And blend. Jenny. Oh, hi, Jenny. Hi, Jenny. That's who I thought it is. Jen, Jen, uh, uh, Jen say hi, Jenny. I'm like, the only one, Jenny. There can never be another one, Jenny. There can only be one. So I backtrack up on the top and cause. Uh-huh. Okay. Another one. Make sure if that's dirt, then make sure you have to tap it out. This look pretty clean so far. Okay, now run over a few times because I do want to lighten up the fade. Okay. Keep going. Make sure that it's nice and fluffy. Airy. Okay. This one too, Sam. Airy. Okay, make sure everything is smooth. I have Jenny go to uh, Orlando, Florida uh, this year, Orlando premiere. Uh, before when we do class together, we see each other like really often. But now I'm doing live now. That's the only chance that we met is to uh, premiere. So I hope she go uh, to Orlando premiere. Okay, now we need some pink. Hot pink over here. Oh, thank you, Julia. Okay. Again, don't be afraid to put over the purple because it's already been taken. So don't be afraid it over the purple too, all the way down. Light and airy, please. Too much powder? Run over a few times. Now, look at that light and airy. See that? Mm. It's breezy. Can't wait to see you at the show. Yes. Have by Michelle. Did you see me here uh, last year? Last year, I had so much fun at Orlando. This year, I'm, I'm going to remember to uh, advertise it ahead of time. Last year, I didn't advertise it, so uh, I just show up. Actually, I, I advertised like the day before, which makes no sense. This year, I'm going to advertise like a month in advance. I make sure that there's plenty of people. Because that's why I feed on. I feed on people. 
the more people, the more energy I have. The less people, the less energy I have. That's just how it's worked. So that's why I want a lot of people at the show. We always have a really big crowd. Orange, tangerine, the color for the desert. Oh, okay. Well, I will see you this year. It's it's uh in July, uh, June. It's in June. It's just really uh just a breath away. We're just playing in that summer already. And then that's Christmas already. Around the corner. It's already like uh it's already February. Oh yeah. Christmas is just 10 months away. Okay. Doing this color too. Hi, Envy. Hi, Nail by Envy. What are we doing tonight? Cleopatra. Let me show you. Cleopatra, but with a touch of desert color. Bright. Bright neon desert colors. And I'm going to leave a little white at the end just because it's classy. Now we'll finish pigment her. So let's continue drawing. We will need stained glass gel number 12 for bronze. We will need milk for highlight, milk top coat for highlight. And that's just milk put on my pigment bag. All right. Okay, now let's see what colors is all on her. So she have uh she have some shadows, some shadows, she has some some highlight, she have black, so I need black art gel and the lips. Ooh, I couldn't see the color because it's so bright. The whole thing is bright, Photoshop. Oh, well, she looks that pretty because Photoshop. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna choose like this. Okay, so I need art gel for sure. I need black. And it is red for her lips, but it needs to be added in like a, like orange or bronze. And um, yeah, this one does. Okay, and white too. Make it lighter. Oh, seems like that's everything. Let's shade her in. But it's stained glass gels. I'm putting my pigment right here. Now, I have some, some stained glass on. This is, again, number 11. Oh, number 12. This is number 12. Number 12. And then I need milk right here. Tom says the magic is about to start. <sighs> If you join us late, stay tuned until the end of the live, and we'll be saving this. Thank you, Jen. Thank you. Okay, and some art gel. Might work. Might as well take it out too. Okay, some red. Mixed with orange. Can't wait so many of us to meet in Orlando who are going to the show. Oh, I hope a lot of people are going to the show. And I think uh, some indigo. Okay. Just a little bit though. 
me into this deep, deep, sexy color right here. Gonna mix half of it in white just to make a lighter version because the lip. Oh, oh, this is a new pro, uh, new bottles. It's a new bottle, so I have to make sure that this uh, everything is mixed. Okay, I'm just going to mix a little white on half of it. Okay. Put it back. Tina is going to be uh, there in Orlando. Oh, yes! Orlando premiere? Oh yeah, I love Orlando premiere. I go every year. It's a big show. Uh, that's the only show in Chicago I'm gonna go. We we plan for Sacramento, but mm, I doubt it. All right. So what, let's see what brush I have. I have a filler brush here. Let's have a pointy brush. Okay, we're gonna use a quite a bit and two liner brush. 10 and 20 and 5 and 7. Okay, two line of brush coming out. And an ombre brush just in case. Okay. Clean this a little bit. Okay, now let's see her. First, I need, um, I need a pointy brush. I'm gonna draw her cheekbone for hers. Uh, let's see. The premiere show is June uh, 3rd and 5th. Thank you, Heaven Michelle. Okay, let's see. Down. Down. Going in. Going in. Wipe off the brush. So it's clean up gel and keep going. Okay. Same thing here. And then her nose down here. And from both sides, the reason why I don't use an ombre brush because the motion will be right here. But this is not a blend. I mean, it is a blend, but it's a very narrow blend. It's contour. So I might as well just use the same brush. Uh, what do you use right now? Right now, I'm using pointy brush. Yeah, usually I will use an ombre brush, but you see, 
if I use an ombre brush, I'm gonna do it like this. And that's too too much of a blend. And obviously her face doesn't need that that uh, her face is very contour. Since we can barely hear you, you sound very, 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 very thirsty. They say that. Huh? Low battery. <laughs> that is a lot of Gemini in the chat. Oh. A lot of what? Gemini. Mm-hmm. Gemini's. Oh, yes, Dustin's and father is a Gemini. All right, thank you, Dustin. Now, um, I'm, I'm gonna do it one more time. Except for this time, I wanna go in and then go straight down. Just be cut her cheeks. Okay. Okay, this one good. Now, the chin. Okay. Blend it out, contour it. Remember, you can start with a thin, light layer and then you can go back with another layer. <coughs> See, if you wanna contour like this, you have to wipe out the previous gel. So when you do this, gel doesn't get on it, it just blend out here yes we are the satch yeah. we're proud to be satch okay now her mouth right here it needs some darkness in here Anybody know if there's a good Cleopatra movie that I can watch, please? Mm -hmm. I love Cleopatra, but The Mummy is a pretty much, that's the only time when I see her. Didn't For sure. Marilyn Monroe played, I don't want to see Marilyn Monroe as no, Cleopatra. No, 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 no. I want to see a Mexican girl that played Cleopatra, not Marilyn Monroe. She's white. Yeah, she's white. She's white. Cleopatra is, it's not white. It's exotic. Spicy. Spicy. She's spicy. By the way, I watched that Marilyn Monroe movie. Man, her life is sad. I didn't. I couldn't imagine. Poor Marilyn. <sighs> what an unfortunate um, life. Poor her. I never know. The smile tricked me. I never know. I feel for her. Oh man, that's. I'm not gonna watch it again. It's too sad. I get a little depressed when I watch it because of, yeah, it's just poor. <coughs> she been, she, man, she get used by those men. Gosh. Okay. Oh, that's white right there. Mm. What are you using to create the shadow? Stained glass gel number 12. Yeah, I'm using my stained glass gel gel. That is number 12 in the stained glass collection. Going straight down for the shadow. Okay. Uh, and then stained glass come from bones? Yes. It is. It's coming in a bundle. So all over and you make sure that you wipe your face, uh, your uh, brush off free of gel. 
Now, use a clean brush, go on in, go on around the lip line. Now, pulling up from both sides, pulling up to remove that stained glass gels. Don't worry, I'll be back. And then make this a little lighter by using a dry brush and you touch it like this it make it lighter for you cleanse it again a little bit kisses hi honey you now thank you hi cover baddies oh see oh no oh he's he's busy he yeah, have been focused in the last couple of days. Okay, so I am getting seven millimeters. Okay, see this color lip that I just made? I'm gonna uh, use the lightest colors. I mix up and have one light and one uh, is dark, remember? So I am gonna paint this on upper lips. This are uh, like a sexy color lip too. I like it. Kisses. <laughs> Mia Star. <laughs> Egyptian means she African. Yes, yes. God, so pretty. Okay, that's why I like. I don't want to see Marilyn Monroe playing Cleopatra. Not some, some... You know who is Elizabeth Taylor? Oh, yes. who, who? I don't know. I don't know. I got that. Is she another white lady? <laughs> <laughs> oh, because back then, back then, yeah, back then the uh, movie Hollywood industry had been taken. Uh, I heard back in the day. They don't let even let women play uh, in play, uh, so men have to uh, get into track. Good Lord. Oh yeah, back in the day, oh, like so um, uh, one know. of those old guy, Edgar Allan Poe. No, the one that wrote Shakespeare, the six years bay. They just say one of the old guy. I mean, he is. He's old. Okay, now from both sides, you draw in the shading for her lips. Okay, and then you will take like a filler brush, like a or pointy brush, um, because you want to fade, but then again, it's too short, uh, it's too little for ombre to be in here. So, taking this filler brush and you just touch it. That and with a tiny brush, I'm gonna line her lips like this. See how I line her lips? Tiny little brush. See that with a stained glass gel, nothing crazy. Our gel will be way too heavy. For this process, stained glass gel is perfect because you need sheerness, you need lightness. You doesn't need because lip. Oh man, it's so easy for you to mess up lips. It's very easy for a person to mess up the lips. It can be messed up in a heartbeat. Be very careful with the lips, you guys, especially when it comes to colors, shading, and all that. I don't want it to be two because it's portrayed as one color, not two colors. So stained glass gel, you still can see the background colors. That's what you want. Let me see. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Getting spicy. Get this. It's getting spicy. Time to take out white. 
Hola, inspiraciones. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Oh, Paradip now? Is that, uh, did you the one that spent uh, 2,500? Uh, are you uh, in Ohio? Last month, that was a person, a big spender, spending two, uh, 2,500 on one of my orders. I was like, I want to say thank you, but I haven't. I haven't. Kyla, give me the phone, but I haven't make a call because I'm shy. I'm really shy. Okay, now, um, you need white on everything. The whole eye is white. Don't worry, we're going to take care of that later. Just all white. Hear this. You should make this color at Tino lip gloss. You will buy Tino lip gloss here? I remember I say I want to be a makeup artist. It's just I don't know where to start. I don't know which is the best. I, I know that product and material are very important, but I have no clue of which is which. I have no clue what is good in the makeup industry. So before I dabble into it, I'd rather find out, you know what I mean? I don't want to be like one of those person, like one of the, um, like, like sometimes people say, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, do nails. And then they will buy this little kit from Amazon and be like, oh, poor girl. <laughs> but they have no idea because they're normal. They're not nail tech. They're not nail artists. So they have no idea. They, uh, they get seduced by gimmicks. And I don't want to be one of those people i want to know i want to have the best products i just don't know where to start okay now i'm gonna have some brown right here some brown right It's not too big. It's a little big. Okay. Kia. Yes, I got the shit. It's like, cause I have no idea. Uh, Amazon got me. Exactly. I don't want to be like that. Because that is just make my learning process slower. I know if I got crappy makeup, I'm I'm not gonna be able to produce what they produce and then I probably play myself like I'm stuck at makeup. But probably because I just don't have the right stuff the whole time. But I have no clue. Cause I don't know who to turn to. I don't know anyone from the makeup industry at all. Okay, let's see. Now, um, her eye is brown. I am going to take black and do a little circle outline over here. Mm. Five millimeter would be perfect. Okay, good. Okay, good. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Ada. You can say the talent is insane. Oh, thank you. Uh, IG is dripping tonight. I got Buddha again. Oh. I hate doing nose. You know, I hate doing nose too. Eye is my favorite, and then mouth is make me a little. Ooh. And then nose is like, oh, I hate it too. I'm gonna sample what you are. Uh, nose, nose, because you know why? Nose doesn't. Um, it doesn't make up by outline. 
nose made up by shade. You know, I didn't do a line here, a line here. I shade it. No, it can be very tricky if you're heavy-handed. Here. Am I lacking too? Am I lacking on the video? Okay, now some brown. Okay. Brown over here too. Okay, here. Now, another part. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is draw the neck. You might see me jumping here and there just because I use the same colors. So I might as well do it now. Okay, now I'm gonna use the ombre brush. Drag it out. Back in the opposite direction. Okay, this same thing. This is out. Opposite direction. If needed, clean your brush. Okay. Here. Now. You need a bronze color. You're giving me Britney Spear. Oh, she kind of looks like Britney Spear. Mm -hmm. I love Britney Spear, by the way. I'm crazy about Britney Spear. I am leaving the gen. I will be Britney Stalker for sure. I probably be one of those people in the window. Ah. Britney. Yeah, that's why I will be. Okay, now. Let's see. I have this brush thing. <coughs> All right, so the engraver is what I'm looking for. Blended the yellow with, with the brown. However, um, so the yellow is number nine. Okay. However, I do need some orange, number three, because her skin is glowing so so a little more orange so it's burning more more she need more Okay, now, let's see this. Zoom in. Time to complete hers so, uh, with this secondary color. So let's draw her hair, hairline too. We just skip the hair for now. Later on, we will do it with Chao Peng. Ombre brush all the way. Yeah. Now, you're going in with this secondary color and make sure you make the hot. See. So, there is a glow for her eye with the end.
a little more. Mm, yes. Over here, kind of lighten it up just a little bit. Some for the nose over here, some glow for the nose. Down here, some glow. Paint it just down. Blend it in, and as a lip, you round it a little bit. That's just how human, uh, like, um, anatomy are. Right here, it's always. Let me show you, so you know what I'm talking about. Every single human have this. This is a long lip. So, I mean, I'm sure you know you do makeup. So, cheek right here, right, is going in down. But around the lips, it's always have a little curve. That is our kind of like our um our our structure, our face structure. Always a little highlight around this. We always have that. Oh, around the chin. Come over this side. Same things. This side. Bring her cheek in. Just like that. Okay. Now down here, keep her look glow. I feel like I'm putting make her makeup on her. She starts to look prettier and prettier at its go. You should see her before when she don't have any makeup on. Oh. Okay. That here. Now, time for the highlights. So I have with me milk. I am gonna add in just a tiny bit of stained glass, um, yellow stained glass. This is number nine. You like it, can to the course. Golden. And put it on, honey. Put it on. Actually, I need a little white. Slow light on me. Ooh, just a tiny bit though. Ooh, I hope it's not too much. Let's see. There's only one way to find out if it's too much. Oh, that's good. Feel the end, feel the end going straight down for her, the spine of her nose. Make sure you don't give her a bad nose job. 
Oh, Chloe. Yes. That is what I want, Cleopatra. Ooh, that's golden delicious. Let's do it all over her face. Add in highlight all over. See how much of a difference it makes. Just wake it up. That's what man doesn't know. All this trick. All this little trick right here. She becomes sexier now. Now don't, don't judge my makeup skill, okay? I have, I I don't know any makeup skill. I don't have any makeup skill, okay? Don't judge it. I'm sure you'll be like, oh, the cheekbone should be right here. The highlight should be right here. It should be like this. Mm. See how I tilt the nail down so I don't get distracted by the glare. Make sure you do that. Don't get distracted. See the glare, see that? That's a glare. Don't get distracted by the glare. Till the face down. Oh, look at her. She's hot. I'm excited already. I haven't even give eye her eyelash yet. <laughs> or eyebrows. She have no eyebrows at this moment. Oh, what do we look like before makeup? Oh, we're a mystery until it's come off. This. I wonder how that work. If you look different without makeup, and when you go in the bar and you do your thing, and you bring some tricks home, and you do whatever, but then the next day, now if it's just the tricks, then they're gonna they're gonna leave right the moment they're done. But if it's not a tricks, then he's gonna spend the night over, and then the next morning, what happened? When when he wake up and be like, oh my god. Like, what happened? I wonder. How, how did that work? Little chin, chin right here. You know? You know what I'm talking about? When people bring in drips home? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, sometimes we get treated and sometimes we get tricked. No, so oh, that's why it's kind of okay. Now, <clears throat> little golden right here for her, too. I'm upset. See, alone it looked yucky. Like, what the heck is this? But look at it on here, though. <gasps> mm. I think they called it uh, bronzer or highlight or something. Bronzer. Bronzers. I'm so bad with makeup. I think I'm making a fool of myself to demonstrate these makeup, uh, this face part. That's why they have to get the hair out in the morning. Oh, that's why. So it's like a cat and mouse game. It's like, now you see me, now you don't. Peekaboo. It's like that. It's like wake up an hour early and get all beautified and then go back to sleep. Is it like that? Oh, I forgot her bottom lips. What am I thinking? <coughs> See, I can't forget. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to use yellow. And give it a line. Okay, just a line. line. Go color metallic. Mm -mm. It's not. It's not. It's uh. It's highlight. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot the cell level. See that the pen? I wish it's non cell level because it wouldn't make streak for me. It keep blending back. I have to turn some trick now. Let's see.
Okay, I have to use same glass gel for the stripe. It's okay. Uh, darker colors. Okay, and then clean my brush so I can take a clean brush and just just go over it like this. So I'm not I'm not really working with gel. I'm just working with the gel I already have on there. Right. And flash key a little bit. Now I'm gonna use these golden colors. Very thinly. Thinner. Here. These are level scale. Uh, I'm trimming half half in this level five. It's level five. Doing uh drawn faces, but uh not specific. This is very non specific. I'm not doing portrait. I'm just doing a face with makeup on. Portrait would be a higher level because you have to now you have to be exact. But I'm not in the mood to be exact tonight. I'm just drawing little makeup faces. Okay, now upper lip line. Okay. Very careful. Mm, I have to use a shorter brush. Okay, good. They come back in here. I do want to soften this white out so it's not too much white. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I have many levels of doing uh, it though. This morning, you will love this morning. It's so easy. It's cute. It's like unicorn rainbow. Level one. It's easy this morning. So I decided to give a little spice tonight. And I have got back, back and forth. You know what I mean? Okay, now um, black art gels, please. This one, art gel. I am going to draw the eyeshadows. Be careful with this part. This is what she's known for. Little Paja looks fierce. She looks like she can hurt you if you cross her. Another line. And 
a black dot right in the middle. Okay, eyebrow now with uh, brown stained glass gel. She looks sad. Cleopatra looks sad. Do you know her stories? Cleopatra look uh, like she has stories. Her eye is so full. Full of emotion. Mm -hmm. She is a quiet character, Cleopatra. Full of emotion in her eyes. Resting bitch face. Exactly. You don't want to see a Cleopatra go, hey. You don't want to, you want to do her like that. She needs to be fierce, powerful. Black hair on here. This is black stained glass gel, but uh, um, black um, black art gel. Sorry, it's black art gel painted all over her head like this. This pointy brush I'm using. You do want that little white, just so you know. You do want that. It's pretty like that. See that little white? It's like a highlight for her. Okay. Cure this for now. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, actually, before I cure, draw her hair too. Her eye are gorgeous. Oh, we're not done. We're not done with her eye. I want um some highlight. I want some highlight around the uh, just to make it more exotic. Not very often that I get to draw Cleopatra. I draw her twice before, but just not like her, not like the human face. Um, not like a real face, more like a cartoon, you know, one of the hieroglyphs that they draw in the cave in a tomb that what I do it doesn't look real so this is the only time that I get to draw her that mm, you know makeup and everything realistic Cleopatra I'm gonna make sure she beautiful Here. She's beautiful. Now her eyes. I'm going in. I'm going in with a yellow mixed with some white. I don't want it to be pure white yet. So oh, her eye need to be Let's see. Okay. And a spark of hope right here. See the difference between the eyes? Thank you. Is it Taylor Swift? Mm -mm, it's not. 
It looked like Taylor Swift. <laughs> Taylor Swift hope that she's just hot. Crazy girl. Like this. Okay. Uh, Kill this. It's still up for debate. The history of Cleopatra is understandable. Uh, Messiona won, want to claim this. However, uh, however, the region of East Asia, fact, part of Africa, there is many different um, melatonin colors. Mm. But you know that she baked on milk and honey. That's a beauty secret. That's what I do. I find out that I, I bake on milk and honey too. I want to be just like Cleopatra. It's kind of blurry. Okay. Let's see. Here. Okay, now I am going to take this metallic gold liner. I'm not going to activate it. I just need the yellow gold colors. Cut. I want to make a quick background. It's curving. Okay. See this? If you ever have a brush that curve like this, take a paper towel. Bend it back. See this? Fingernail right here. Okay. Now, I am going to take some gold, add it right here for her. Heck here. So it's all golden for her. Now, let's see. I swear, it looks like Kim Kardashian, you guys. Okay, so color right here. Brush right here. Palace right here, nails here. All right, let's move this over here. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so let me see what she had left. Okay, seems like I am ready to add accessory on her. So I am going to mat this right now. I want to make sure, yeah, just to protect it. Okay, uh, actually, no, I'm going to shine this. I think shine it. I'm going to shine this because I have to do some chrome work. <laughs> no, Kim Kardashian. <laughs> I don't think it's it. I don't think it is. I don't think it's Kim. I think Kim stole the, the, the makeup look. From uh, from um, yeah, I think she stole it. Here, thank you, thank you. 
this one, this one shined it all over because we need to do some wing crumble too. Mm, mm, mm. Cuticles done, going all the way down. Don't, don't dig around too much. Just go at a normal speed with light pressure all the way. See that? Pigment is perfect still. Don't bleed or anything like that. Just don't dig around too much. Here. Same thing here. Cuticle work. Okay. Now, from here, light pressure going down, you know, in a moderate speed. Don't go too fast, because if you go too fast, you have to stroke it again and again and again, and you don't want to go all the way through. Here. Okay. Oh, I don't even have to top go in between this time. I go all the way with Cleopatra. Clear. Yeah, I don't dig around too much. Oh, <laughs> I can believe you just said that. <laughs> oh, love that face. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Rasa, I'm beyond talented. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Lord, um, have her at light skin, but in reality, they uh, supply her with, uh, was, uh, she was a black skin beauty. Ooh. I think, I think we cannot compare her to like a whole race because Cleopatra have special treatment. She she have special treatment. I mean, she bake a million honey every day. Of course, her skin can be glowing and gorgeous. Number five here. Number six. Right here. All right. Now, time to buff. We are using this. Tammy Taylor's clean finished buffing file. So we can do some chrome so it doesn't stick on the background, you guys. You don't want chrome to stick at all on the background. Stone, stone stick, no chrome. chrome. For chrome, not to stick. Okay. Buff all the way. Yeah, chrome, chrome, chrome powders. Okay. Yeah, she has to have gold. 
We haven't had any uh, accessory on her yet. She need accessory. Oh, she have all this stuff going on in her head. Mm -hmm. Yes. Or oh, on her head. Okay. That's one time I drop a nail on the floor and I roll my chair over and I crush that nail into pieces. I'm glad it's not Cleopatra. I will cry a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh. Devastating. Okay, 10 millimeters. And black art gels. That's what I'm going to use. And some white art gel. Take it out. So her hair is black. Time to put white on so it's contrast. Okay, let's see. Okay, one band, and then we're gonna have some square or some something. Let me see another pictures. Let's see what you have another. Oh, like a snake. Oh, okay, so like a heart shape. Going down, no blunt on it, and then one dot right here for the snake. Okay, and then I'm just gonna make up some details. Down here, start with white and um, give her some necklace. Okay. And it's like a snake tail that she has. Okay. And outfit also. I'm I'm just gonna make up the outfit.
Google Chrome uh, browser out. I'm just wondering, uh, I don't know how it's work. Um, no. You mean her face? No. Please don't put Google Chrome on her face. It will be the biggest mistake you ever made. Cause you think, oh, go Chrome is a color bronzer. Mm -mm. Go on the face texture, look really dark. Like dirt. Don't do that. You, you'd be sorry. Remember, even though it looks like makeup, I would on her still remember. A human face is different than a painting. Don't forget that. Material can confuse you sometimes. Okay, now... <laughs> yeah, I'm just made it up. You can make it up however you want. <laughs> you are welcome to here. Okay, now let's see. Uh, some part right here. I do want to draw some line, nothing serious. Don't dig too much with this. Just some line down. Remember anything that about to be go chrome. I, I don't really pay attention to the sharpness or anything because it's going to be beautiful when it chrome out. That? Okay, now, here. Oh, she have two little things going on uh, down her hair. Oh. Whatever this is. Oh, and one more thing. I need to add judge for her. Is the eyes. When I file, I buff away the eyes. So I will return this for her. There you go, darling. Now you know more again. Let me add some white for you right here. Oh, Tia. Uh, let me see. Okay, bro, these outside also remind me of Queen of Nefert. Oh, Nefertiti. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Is it Egypt too? I'm not sure. I only know Cleopatra. I'm very uh, uneducated in this subject. Um, that's why I want to find a movie to watch about Cleopatra. I, I never really um, uh, look deep into hers. I just really want to watch a movie about Cleopatra. That would be easier. The detail make all the difference. Oh, oh, by the way, um, time to draw some wings, please. Let's draw some wings for her using white. And we're going to draw a little headpiece for her. Pointy brush is very needed at this moment. Clean this a little. Well, I think I'm going to use this cleanser from now on. It's so convenient. It's like an alcohol bottle. It's very convenient. Okay, now. Before we do wings for her, time to take care of some chrome details first. Go chrome is what I need. Especially intricate design. I'll wait up a top coat before buffing to be sure it's protected. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And I, I should too. I should double top coat it, but I didn't. Okay, now I'm going to go chrome on 
over this side, over this side. Down here too. Mm -hmm. Oh, golden delicious. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Yeah, there you go. There you go. There you are, Cleopatra. Hi. Hi, Cleopatra. Oh, you look so hot. Goodness. Now, black detail. If if you want, you don't want this one. Hold on. Use an art gel also. But now it's gonna be a double chrome, double emboss. You will see the difference. Snake. Yeah. Oh wait, this one too. Yeah. Thank you, Tia. You never stop? Mm -mm. No. Why? Life is short. So many options for art. <laughs> Why stop? <laughs> okay, now. Uh, we need pointy brush. Okay. This is our dries. Um, take some art gels. Again, these art gels. I get to you a new bottle today. Work it in. Work it in. Okay. Now toward it around. Make sure that it's come to a point. Good. Good. Measure her face. It's right here. So the hair will be right and eye level got it remember chrome on black you can see slight different with the white not much slight different enough to give dimension into it Slight different. Now, if you do the opposite way, it won't turn out that way. If you do black first and then white on top, it look weird. When it comes with double chrome in our way, white first and then black. Okay. Look at that double chrome layer. Leave her here. Now, let's see about some, some, um, some wings, some, some, some wings in, in her hair. Make sure that my pointy brush are pointy. Touch it just a little and press and then, sorry, press and then pull. Okay. Do it all over. One, two, Three, four, 
four. Okay, so I'm gonna do this side too. About right here. One. I have four, so I have to do four on this side too. Two. Three. Four. Down the bottom, the feather can be as long as possible. One, remember press in the middle, so it's bigger in the middle. Two, three. Four longer at its go. Five. Remember, I'm using art gels with it. Chrome friendly. I also buff the background because chrome block. Don't forget. It'd be very sad to draw all this beautiful feather and realize, oh, I forgot to buff the background. Get this one, two, three, four, five. Do you ship to the Caribbean? Absolutely, yes. We ship worldwide, anywhere in the world. We have been blessed with Dreamtime Creation, already established a business long time ago, so now we can ship worldwide. One. Two, three, take a break. Make sure that it's equal. Okay, four, five, five will be right here. And then four will be right here. That's me. All right, I'm gonna make this feather bigger though. Okay, four, five. Thank you, thank you, lady, for helping me answer the question. I'm so into this. Mm, a little longer than that's it. Good. Here. Wrap chrome on. Another one. Well, you look at hers. <laughs> okay, now. Shorter feather inside, if you want. One. In the middle. Two. Three. Four. For the thumb, I'm going to draw a scarab. But you don't need tutorial for that. It's going to be easy. You're going to see it in one minute video and you're going to get it. It's just a pattern. 
on this slide, you already learned Chrome work and all that. You just have to switch pattern. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cure this. Chrome this. Thank you. Oh, tip by Ponce. I'm the most amazing new artist. Thank you, Tanya. I love that. I'm not the most amazing nail artist. I just share what I do. This process is not something that easy to give away without charging. It's not that it don't exist. It is out there. It's just that for a person to demonstrate this for you, it's very hard for them not to charge you. But that's why to this day, you still see the finished result. Again, this one, smaller feather, seven feathers. Okay. The feathers are given carnival clear patch. Ooh, way into the blue. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven. Where am I missing? One, two, three, four, five. Ah, oh, I get it now. Okay. One, two, three. Four. Five. I skip a little bit. Five. Six. And seven. Yeah. Chrome again. Now go in with black. Black art chill. Tio, that is what made you amazing is that you share your knowledge. So, so many do not. It's sad because it's help others grow and learn more. <laughs> um, I'm just blessed. I'm just blessed that I don't have to worry about the shipping and all that. So I have time. A lot of people are not in a blessed situation. They have to, you know, they have to make money. So I understand. I'm blessed. I don't... I don't have to worry much. All I have to do is just share. It's black, by the way. I mean, of course you can tell. I don't know why I would say that. <laughs> okay. Oh, black art gel, by the way. This black art gel. Remember, the gel have to be able to adhere to chrome. Okay, black outside too. I love these new brushes. I'm so happy every time I get new brushes. People think that just because I own supply, I have unlimited supply. Mm -mm. I have to check out every time because it's both of our money. So I couldn't just, you know, go to town with it. I have to check it out. I'm get happy every time I get new stuff. Give it a span on each of the feather. Give a little span for the feathers. Mm. 
Okay. Here it is. I do that so it have definition. Okay. Now again, from this. Dust. Tell Becky to turn the hand over for you. Now, go ahead and outline this too. on every feathers this one too the other side sometimes I do one side first so I don't have to like work my brand that hard keep switching pattern to do it all on one side sometimes. Little line for the spine of the feathers. Here. Chrome. This finger needs to be chrome. Which you know, design will you say the most difficult for you? <laughs> There's no difficult design because I understand all the rules. When you learn all the rules, there's no difficulty. That just which one take more time than which. But the difficultness is gone. Mm. To be ready to create, you have to pass the point where, okay, when a person starts out, there is a certain thing they can do, there's a certain thing they cannot do, there's a certain thing that are too difficult to be ready to design, which means to be ready to create your own design, make your own rules, then at that point you have to get to a point where you can do everything. That's nothing will be difficult, that's just which one you spend more time on which. But you have to pass a stage where there's no such thing as difficult. There's rules, Okay, and that's homework, which is line work and pigment blend. Okay, how to make your hand airy and how to control your hand. When you pass through that stage, you need to learn all the rules. And when you remember all the rules, there's no difficulty. That's just formulas. Layers. Okay, now. I would take brand stained glass gels. Where are you? <sighs> Number 12. Take it out. And you can line the brush. Keep it right in the middle of the feathers all over. Please. Remember, please do not use a brown gel. You will be sorry. You will be so sorry if you use a brown gel. Because a brown gel, it will cover it all. This is a stained glass gel, so that's when it still show the gold. Okay, if you take a normal color, you will be so sorry. Don't take a normal color. Remember, you use stained glass gel. So you can see, you can see the coal. Because it's all about the coal. You need to see the coal. It's just shadows. Okay, now you see it. I'm going to zoom out. 
Palm Play Brush. Go ahead and blend it out. Okay. Flash cure this. Okay, now. 30 minutes is, uh, it could change everything. She says she, uh, uh, I miss it. I miss a question. Let me see. When you say you know the rule, you mean the foundation of art? I mean, in, um, no, not the uh, subject itself. Rule meaning when you're looking at a piece of, uh, of work, okay, you have to dissect your layers. You have to know which one comes first, okay? Like this one, when you look at it, you see the pigment. You see the colorful background, so you know that you got to set up a colors background first before you select the feather on. Okay. Rule meaning, what am I going to use? If a person doesn't know what to use, that's when it gets difficult. It's a clueless. But now you know, pigment base, you know, you know, you know what to, to do. Pigment bay, how long to cure? And then what after pigment base, super pigment, that is how you establish this background. Now you know. But if you don't know the rule, a person that doesn't know what product to use will be clueless. You'll be like, uh, am I just going to take a black gel and try to ombre it down? And then the pink gel ombre it down? It will have all kind of crazy mark on it? Maybe a no-no. Rule is very important. It's keep you safe. That's why I, I established all this rule. And, and I have all this product, it to keep you safe. Product will keep you safe with a huge understanding of it, knowing what to use at the right time. That's why I call, that's why I have a effect gel line, because that's what, exactly what it is. It makes special effect for you. Okay, if not, if without special effect gel, you just have to work with plain color gel, which is very challenging. Imagine, I take a brown gel on this. Oh, it'll be all over. Okay, now. Soon, I need to demonstrate a wood technique. I'm sure that uh, it needed for uh, St. Patrick Day. It'll be next week. My brown ink, finally. And I use it. Oh, I forgot to use my brown ink for Valentine to create burn paper. Uh, burn paper. I guess that's all in next year. Thank you, thank you, uh, thank you, Bree. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Brown gel in here. Blend it out. Yeah. Now, this is time to matte everything. Because this is not matte, it's just buff. I'm going to matte everything now. here. Map this too. Hi, the ancient nail tape. Hi, everyone. I'm sorry. I'm not been around. I've been really burned out and struggling, but I'd be um, back soon as soon as I can. Oh, no. I hope everything okay, the ancient nails tights. Okay, 
देखा है okay. Now, I'm going to try something. I want to use milk for highlight just a little bit. Give it okay. We'll see. Milk top coat. I want to. I want to try this. I don't know what it's going to turn out. I don't want to lose a gold. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. Some highlight. Yeah, that's enough to make a difference. Actually, you know what? Yeah, here this. Same on here too. Okay. Some highlight at the tips here. Let's take some white art gel and give it just a tiny bit, a tiny bit more, just a tiny bit. it just to enhance that point but that's it nothing else Sending uh, my love to my Tino family and Tino and Dustin. Thank you, the ancient nail tags. For blinking. Okay. This light is really blinking tonight. okay it's time to give the chrome back it shine remember it's a matte chrome it's not shiny chrome yet still really shiny though even when it's matte it's still uh, I still can tell that it's gold but we're gonna add shine to it erase all of this look at all of this this is what made her try to boot myself together oh, i wonder what's going on let me see let me read the quite um the comments uh some personal mental health struggles and i've been keeping watching the lives oh Please keep in mind that in difficult time, um, try not to to focus on um, try not to dwell on it. 
Mm, I don't know what the problem is, but try not to dwell on it because you don't want to manifest it even worse, you know. That's what mean doesn't do. In our difficult time, we always try to like be positive, and it's so hard to be positive. But you have to manifest it. I hope that it's okay. Let me see. wonder what's going on. Mental health. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, I wish everything's good for her. Okay, now um, time to take out clear texture gels. Okay, this one clear texture gel. Take it out. Okay. Ponty brush, clean. Oh, hi, lost and found nails. Hello. Thank you, blessed nails. Okay, now zoom in. Time to give the feather a little detail like this. Little emboss. You don't have to. You can uh, take uh, shine it and do it if you want. I just want a little emboss. Clear texture gel. It will keep me a little safe on this since it's non runny. It's very, it's very still. Stay very still. Let the clear gel look is so awesome. Thank you. Okay. Hear this. Oh, wait, first. Make sure that this is in shape. Good. Now, Kia. Okay. Put it in. Again, for this one. Okay, all the way through. All the way. I'm gonna tell Dustin about the ancient nail tag, so maybe we can send positive energy her way. If if you want, um, if you want, hmm, to make it easier on someone, or you wanna help someone. All you have to do is sit at night and uh, think about good thing and send it about them. Think about them and then think about good thing. Prayer is just kind of like the same way. But instead of praying, I just manifest it. Just think about good thing when you think of them. Okay, get this to... All right, now, um, I don't want to keep this, uh, lay this layer just for my emboss. I need to uh, take Aston and erase shine so I can replay with shine. Okay, Thank you all for watching the live video and save them for us. You are welcome, uh, Blink with Choose. You're welcome. Oh, it takes so long to care. Oh, okay, close these gels. Oh, thank you, Tanya. Okay, now shine it out. Shine it, all right. 
sand it, bring it out here, put in some shells. How much do you charge for this? Oh, with the face? Uh, I know Vivian job for face about eight hundred dollars set. Mm. I would job for it if it press on because I can re keep it. If it on my client, I might charge a little less since they have to remove it like the next time. Mm. Probably five hundred for the face. You can charge however you want it, but just know that if there is a space in there, you can charge confidently. Because now it's art; it's no longer a uh, I mean, pick out colors. It's no longer that. It's art now. You pick out your own colors. This is no longer a typical salon service. This is art. Now, this morning, this morning is practicals. But this one is, is not. It's art. This is what people uh, practice to train their layer skill. A person that can accomplish this. And exactly like this, that person is ready. Because to accomplish this, you cannot stumble on any uh, any rules at all. You have to know all your rules. You have to know what to use, what brush to use even. See how many brush are you on the face? You have to know what brush to use. Beside the material, at that point, land work shouldn't even be a problem. So even if it doesn't, uh, even if you don't use it in your salon, the design is still very beneficial for you to practice. Because as I say, if you, com you, you complete this and get very close to the resort, you're ready. Here it is. See, now the background is matte, but the feather is shiny and have depth. Before this, I plan to um, take shadow and put it in um put it on like the surface of a form like a nail form cure it for 60 seconds rub gold comb on it and then top coat it and then cure it and then cut it out into feathers and then glue it on the nail but <laughs> that is like a feature nails so i decide not to i decide to talk you drawing technique first whatever crazy stuff we do uh we're gonna do we do it next year the next year will be uh be a time for craziness, something crazier. But this year, it's our first year doing live. Let's let's keep it nice and airy for everyone. But next year, it have to get crazier. Next year, let's do a Cleo Cleopatra every year to see how our our um design have improved over time. But it gotta improve. It cannot be the same. If the same, that means we're not growing. Clean up the uh, return the shine for the goal details. Oh, look at that cobra! I know it's, it's so tiny, but look at that. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I forgot these little lines that I make. Why would I do that for, to myself? Look at the tiny little line going down. What were I thinking? Why didn't you stop me? Gosh, now I have to outline these little tiny little line, like little line going down. Oh, that could have been an easier way. That's what people say when they start drawing. 
there going to be an easier way? How? How am I going to do that? Just one thing at a time. It's already have gel. I don't need to load gel in my brush. I just need to pull it down. Done and done. Here. All right, we still have a pinky somewhere. Oh, hi. How should you be? Thinking I bedazzle all of it. No. Pinky, I will put some um some gold in the pinky. Let's use the metallic liners. Gel again, this art gel. Paint it some white right here. I should have built this first, but I didn't. It's okay. And add some blue for her. Yeah, I should have built this first. Now it's bumpy. So on here, I'm going to make a, a little space for her to put uh, some blue on for her. So I'm going to take a file and buffer it. I should, I forgot about this. I want this, but I forgot about this. So I remember it last minute. some white in you know you uh, do this portrait on one hand what would you do recommend on the other I would recommend scarab do the scarab on the artist you know the little bucks that eat people yeah do that on the other fingers with wings on both sides too because Egyptian they do depict them with the wings spreading out that'd be perfect Here this. 
Oh, I want to add some blue in the white drill, and I add some blue in because I forgot. I forgot about the blue part. But it's so worth it, though. I cannot skip it. At all. I have to put it in. Meanwhile, for this, let's uh, put sand it on so we can buff it and do some detail. You'll be terrified. Remember what I say? When the design looks pretty, people are afraid to move on. Because they're afraid to ruin it. And when it's not pretty, they don't want to keep going. They want to stop and start over. You just have to remember. You have to know all your rules. Because if you know all the rules, then you can constantly do it. Because you can see the end, you know. Knowing the rule meaning you can see the result. Kill this. I killed this already. Oh, I didn't kill this. All right, wrap silver chrome on. Oh yeah, emerald would be nice. Maybe we use emerald uh, runstone. <gasps> Pretty silver on, and then uh, blue stained glass, and this is stained glass number eight. This is our eight. Here it is. Here it is. Let's emphasize the detail a little bit. Mm -hmm. I love blue, blue and green, my favorite. Or combination of those two. Like peacock color, that's my favorite. I love the peacock color. The color of the peacock, I love it. It's like fantasy. Here. ready to pull up. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Penna. Oh, Penna, say she loved me as a nail artist. Awesome work. Thank you. Purchased a bunch of stuff. You just did? <gasps> you just get out of my life so you can buy stuff. <gasps> I thought you were going to Stick with me to the end. Oh, you guys couldn't see it very well on on um you guys couldn't see it very well on camera. Oh, but there is a combination that I want. A pop of blue. So of course I do that. So blue can be on here too. Look blue, emerald everywhere. Go detail. Can you see it? I think you can. I put it over here. But this. <laughs> Erica say, I was going to buy everything, but help me give me a budget.
if you see my client want to buy a purse, I think it's a little bit of purse, I think. I think it's like 2000 or something. But she do this thing where she show it to her husband, not that one, a more expensive one, like a $5,000 one. She's like, oh, I want this. Of course, her husband kind of back down a little bit. And then she chooses the cheaper one, the one that she wants. At that point, she are, he all happy. Like, oh, yeah, 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 sure. Yes, that. <laughs> Gosh. Now, let's see. First, we're going to establish all the gem, all the colors. So, let's uh, you art gels. What a strategy, huh? All kind of tricks out there. And now an oval. This white art gel that I'm using, I'm doing uh, like an oval. And then Okay, one line right here, another line right here too. Okay, now, another one parallel to this. Color it in. All oh, white. Right. These gonna be emerald. The metal gonna be blue. Okay, let's see. Some gem right here too. Just like that. Probably red. teardrop do you ever think you'll be selling on amazon toward the end of this year be longer oh uh, not at the end of this year it will be it'll be shorter because um, i couldn't give you the exact day because i'm not the one not doing it cindy is the one that take care of it and that was her idea in the beginning 
Uh, so she working on it. She's working out all the details and of course she have uh, a lot of stuff to take care of too. I can't wait for it to be on Amazon for you guys, especially foreigner. Foreigner will benefit from it big time too. Just you know, Cindy have cancer, so I don't wanna rush her on anything. Just let her time to rest and in Florida right now. I'm happy for her. Finally get some dress. I mean, she'll still be working, but at least she get to be near the beach. Kill this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. These now I keep getting better and better. So, oh. See. Um. Let's give her a gem because I want to know now. About the color scheme. Blue gem will do the majestic blue from the jungle Emerald is what I need. I have majestic flu. Now I take out emerald. Smaller size as a seven. Oh, have a good day, uh, Tia. Uh, I will see you again Tuesday. Oh, yes. Emerald. Okay. So I have these two down. I'm going to glue it on right away. I have a separate palette just for the glue. Night night, way Hollywood. I will see you again on Tuesday. Ooh. Now I'm happy. I just need some diamond in there. Just have some kind of direction. Good. Now I know what to do now. Silver. Apply all over the white. Thank you, Nail Tech. Thank you, Nail Tech husband. Woo. Well, that's not how you say thank you to a man. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Thank you. That's cool, bro. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, that's how you say it. The the other thank you is overwhelming. Okay, now before I boost and glass gel on that, I need to take care of all the gold color around it before I boost and glass gel on that. Okay. So let's see. I need black. like this black art shells what I'm using I'm painting low detail around it so I can add gold onto it and then I will take care of the colors on the silvers so right now make sure that you just the process because it could mess you up mm, really bad if you distracted by the silver don't distract by the silver know that 
silver is not going to be silver. Silver is going to be colors. Online. Now, this poem, just make whatever it is you think is pretty. I'm making everything up right now. Auto ship dentures. Take my money. <laughs> heard a lot of that lately online every time i watch my profile that always somebody say take my money i don't know what's up with that but it's make me happy i heard a lot of that lately i'm not even a thing but i heard a lot coming like that take my money take my money i don't know why but it's all make me very happy like yeah okay <laughs> okay, now some frame into this. Like that. Okay. Step right in the middle of this. See all these black lines, it's gonna be all gold. Do whatever it is you want to do, just know it's all gonna be gold blended with the background. The background is not quite like chrome, chrome. I mean, it's, it's metallic, but it's not like chrome. So that's a huge difference with the gold detail. That's perfect, actually. For that. There's more black details more black detail right here just fill it all up okay let's see now i'm ready here and then go chrome on and then the color on because you do the color first and then you do this when you wrap the go chrome on it will stuck on the colors <laughs> don't make the land too small it's okay you, you make whatever you want. It's going to be gold anyway. It's okay. It don't have to be like perfect. I didn't really take time on those lines. I just, just whatever. Because it's going to be, it can be this color. It's going to be beautiful anyway. Doesn't matter how the detail is. You can be sloppy on the detail. It's going to be beautiful. Because it's going to be gold. Okay. Take it out. Let go comb on this. And hope that I cover well on the silver. But the rule is, is wherever this chrome is, the other chrome cannot stick on if I cover it well. If I don't, then some of it gonna stick on. But most of this is silver, so go all over. Okay, now add your color in and then go ahead and clear, make sure everything's covered. I love it right here. I was distracted by the glare of the light. All right, now blue sunglass gel and emerald right on here. Yes, I know, I know a lot of people like this set. Who would like Cleopatra? She's beautiful. It's my friend that see 
when I was little, Egypt is my fantasy. I, I love everything about Egypt. It's so mysterious. Uh, the Mummy is the first one that I watched. And I didn't really remember anything else except for that part where they show Cleopatra. I'm like, oh, wow. It took my breath away. And then that and the Sphinx. I love the Sphinx. You see that? Can you see that? See about the trend form. Here. Now, Emeralds, where are you? I know I love you. Number 10. I'm very happy with my stained glass. I think I'm done. I'm not going to have any more colors, you guys. I'm done with stained glass. These are every color that I need. I'm done with it. Because now you can mix whatever color you like based on whatever color you have. So there's no point of having more colors. I have every color I can imagine with stained glass. I think the total is 14 bottles. I'm done with that. Time to move on. To something else. I'll take to effect. I still dream about maybe having other colors someday. Nude. You know, I need a new texture effect. Everyone need a new texture effect. And I probably need some red and other color texture effect, but I'm gonna wait on it. It gotta do a little more before I uh, wanna have other colors. New probably my next move. Oh, I wasn't careful. Yeah. Yes, isn't that last in time? I love Egyptian. Um, I didn't really study into the history. History. I just want to watch a movie. That's all I wanted to watch a movies. Maybe I need to search on it tonight. Most of it are old movie. I want to watch some new movie with like cool effect. Okay, I'm going to add emerald into this glue and blend it. Oh my god. Oh, I never tried this combination. Oh my god. Let me zoom in. <clears throat> if I can somehow let you see this. Okay, okay, that's fine. Oh, I want you to see that. Oh my god, when emerald on top of this blue is becoming electric colors, how can I never try this before? Let's give it a little more up here. Oh, it's turning into this beautiful color somehow. I can make it sharper for you. Oh, look at that. Emerald on top of um, deep blue. <sighs> no way. It's aqua. Oh, you can see it very well on camera. Oh, I feel bad for you. It's so beautiful. <gasps> oh, I'm going to make some design about this now. Oh, it's aquatic. Oh, I love this. Here. Ooh, now I don't know about mixing this because I put this on top of this. Now I want to see what it looks like when I mix it. 
Nope, doesn't work that way. Nope, it has to be an overlap. Mmm, beautiful. Good to know, good to know. I already have another design. Stay on that. Okay, let's see. Come on, come on. Let's see, I need to map this completely. Okay, mat it out. Put on it. Map all over this here. Go beat, take it out. Go caviar beat. I'm gonna choose this one next to the smallest. And with the beat, I need the help. Protect your child. I desperately need this help. Protect your child doesn't run. It stays still. Make. Okay, now taking this. Before I do anything else, I will land this with me. Thin my brush. Make sure it only have a little bit of gel on it, but it doesn't have acid gels. Uh, it's only have like a uh, like a wet layer of gel on it. This is semi heavy, so I'm very impressed that it's able to hold this. Usually, heavy stone are the most easy to move. Glue this out. Play with a smaller stone. Just because you don't want it to be too thick near the cuticles. There you go. Let it blend in well. Nice and well. Good, good, good. Last here. One, two, three. Move on to another one. Imagine. Oh, thank you, Tanya. Tanya said, Tino, imagination and creativity is out of this world. Thank you, Tanya. Okay. Ooh, that's a lot of beat. Let's do it. Now I know that when uh, I put on YouTube, when I put this on YouTube, it's not gonna give me the whole four hour. It's only gonna give me two hours. It's always do that. Don't ask me why, I don't know why. It's always, uh, when I download it up Instagram, it's always do that. It me like two hours and 15 minutes or something. I don't know why. Okay. 
make sure everything is aligned before you flask here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, again, would be on this. I have to focus for a second, you guys, so I can be a little quicker. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Gel right here, one big bead. Mm, probably this one. Key immediately. One, two. Down here, another one. And then smaller B. And then one more, but smaller. Here, one, two, three. Okay, let's see. Okay, I need something else. Oh, sorry, guy, I haven't put on it on the website yet. I promise, I promise, I will soon. I'm so busy, you guys. With that, I will let you glue actually. We haven't had a night like this in uh, Thomas Kincaid, you know that? Remember Thomas Kincaid night? The Cleopatra. Oh, wait, we, we do. Valentine, we have Beauty and the Beast. I want to freeze it instantly because this can move on me very quickly. I'm going to put some glue dryer in there. Make sure it's all froze before I continue. See this move on me already. Okay, I have to be quick before it's froze. Good thing I put a lot of liquid on here. 
All right, now it begins to freeze. All right, so move on to this. Okay. I'm line up glue right here, and you add line into it. Okay. Oh, started looking like something. I bet the first time. I bet before I put the beat on, there'll be some of you be like, "Oh, that's cute. <laughs> that's cute." Do you do you know that I hate that word? That cute. It means that it's not. It's not too good. It's just cute. I think I I told you that one before. Okay, now I need some uh, gold deco. Actually, no, I'm done. I'm done with uh, gold details. I should have to top coat this. Which shined it, I take it out and I'm gonna top coat this. I did Galaxy set, gotta show everyone, not in love with it, but I could use a tip, um, could use tips, but having fun making it. Um, yesterday, you check out the area. The alien set that I did. Check out the alien set that I did. I have a really fun galaxy in there. I think two days ago or yesterday. What did I do yesterday? I forgot. I don't remember what I did yesterday, but sometime this week I done an alien set. Actually. this one with some shining and go ahead and fill in all the gold details and I am gonna secure the bead along the way same way we shine it on it that's how you secure it uh, it had to be coated like a wrap coat all around it. That's how you secure the bead. Sometimes people just put on the surface like this. If you do, you weigh a little bit and it will run down. It has to be coated all over the bead. Because it's metallic. It's not going to lose any detail at all. Crystal, you're not supposed to coat crystal all over because then that will lose a beautiful cut. Gold bead are not like that. You can, you can go over it with a bar. I have to use glue so it's more uh, sturdy. Um, but the uh, the bead, you don't have to use glue. Gel is work perfectly as long as you seal it. On this process, I would like to lay lay my uh, customer hand flat like this so my top coat it doesn't run on me so I, I twitch a customer hand a little bit on this part that they, they they will know you say this is important for this beating process is important I have coated the gold and the blue in the metals Yeah. Hi, can be coded? Galaxy can be in so many variations and should be fun during the process. Absolutely. I think I've done two Galaxy. First one, I do want to show the Galaxy Chrome, but second one definitely better. I post the first one today suck. The light suck on it. I hope tomorrow, I don't know what I'm going to post tomorrow, it better be good. Okay, now just a little more go part. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Paris Official. Mm. 
Done. Cute. You like it? Look at that. Mm, a little more on the beat. No, it's plenty. Good. I can tell. Look at the light. See that? It's coded. See that? See that? Your beat would never come up. It would never come up. You're doing something wrong. Beat is whole very well. It's whole better than stone. It's whole very well. It should not come up. It should be embedded on your nail. And next time they come, you have to like clip it up. You have to code it. You have to remember to code it. Oh, let's see. Oh, good. All right, everyone. Let's see all the questions. Let's see, thank you, everybody. Thank you. You're so talented. Your work is amazing. Thank you, Holly. Thank you. Yes, Thursday. You did the best alien set. Oh yeah, it's Thursday. Today is Friday, Saturday. Today is Saturday. Yes, I did it Thursday. Uh, let's see. I love that glue dryer in the bottle and not in the spray can. Yes. I know what you're talking about. The spray bottle. I know what you're talking about. Okay, let's see. Thank you. Oh, hi, John. Thank you. Know that. Absolutely stunning. Set. You know, thank you. Love in 313. You look like a stunning piece of jewelry, isn't it? Look at that. Mm, love it. Mm, look at that. Ooh, okay, I'm over it. All right. Let's put everything up. All right, let's see all the questions. Can you be uh, put a picture of Cleopatra? Yes, yes, yes. I will, I will. Give me just a second. Cleopatra. Oh! My iPad. It's okay. I'm going to uh, continue that camera. So I can um, share it through my phone. So oh, badly. Oh, gracias, inspiración now. Gracias. Good night, with now. Bye bye. I will see you Tuesday. Love. Um, I will freaking frame it. Oh, thank you. Look at that. Mm, look at hers. Oh, she's so fierce. Cleopatra, welcome Cleopatra, welcome to life. Thank you. Okay, let's see, let's see. See you Tuesday, see you Queen, uh, Queen of Cars, see you. Uh, let me just connect this thing. Okay, that phone disconnect. Mm. All right, and I will share. You like it? You like it? It's, queen, it. it's a queen of Egypt. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Queen of Egypt. Queen of Padre. I'm going to wait for the other phone to disconnect so I can share. Uh, now go live with me for question and answer. It's been so long since we did that. Oh, yes, I remember. I remember. Uh, um chicago okay okay when is the next video um video oh live you mean it's tuesday it's tuesday oh let me show you the, the queen of age okay are you ready tanya okay I'll take a snapshot of that Uh, let, me, let me show you the snapshot with the grid, okay? Because you need the grid. All right, this one have the grid on it. La, 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 la. Ken, thank you. Can you code it? Thank you. Oh, I'm so tired, but I need to make a videos. I couldn't eat. Leave it to tomorrow. I will forget tomorrow. I'm going to make uh, a scarab. It wouldn't take long. Are you done time?
Anya, let me switch back. Okay. Okay. Oh, I forgot a blue shadow. <gasps> Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Damn it. You know, you know what? I'm going to put it on her because I need that blue shadow. How could I forget that blue shadow? Oh, she needs that. Need that? Gosh, I can't believe I forget it. Mm, mm, mm. Luckily, I can break the rules. Kill this. There you go. That's a blue shadow. It can be better, but what else? Just some sand black gel. I prefer the pigment, but whatever. As long as you have some blue in there, I'm good. Let me see, let me see. Thank you, lost and found now. Thank you, you guys. Let me see, Georgina. Hi, Georgina. Hi. It's one of the class. I see one of the, in the class. Let me see all the questions. Magnificent, thank you. Glad to see you tonight, Tanya. I plan for tomorrow, but I changed my mind. Bye bye, Queen of Claw. Bye bye, bye bye. Bye, Jackie. I'll see you guys later. Let's see. Okay. Right on. I know. All right, everyone, I'm getting out of here. All right, bye-bye, everyone.